Happy Star Wars Day! As always, late. And, uh, well, as of recording this, this is not late. But, um, it's about time I've gotten to work on this. This is a, a project that's been in development for quite a while, um, more or less. So, I subscribe to this magazine that sends me magazines every month. Four, like, four magazines every month. But they also include a piece of R2-D2. And I have gone on for like eight months now. Four parts per, per you know, shipment. And I have like 20% of R2-D2 to build today. Um, well, I'm going to go month by month. So we'll be doing that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, you can see that I have quite a bit of magazineage to read here. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is a half-scale R2-D2. This is going to be about this big. Um, but it is a half-scale R2-D2, uh, complete with app compatibility, and, uh, a camera, and a metal one-piece dome, and a projector, and all that. I really hope it comes with, like, uh, like a full-on, <clears throat> you can, like, project a movie onto a wall, and something like that, which would be really great. Um, I did get these prints, and I did get this giant fucking Darth Vader, so that means that I am two-fifths of the way there into complete, into, uh, having all the parts. Can't wait for that mug, though. Look at that mug. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, I built this setup. This is my, uh, this is my workspace. This is where I work. This is literally two feet away from my desk, which is why it's very crowded. Um, so, of course, we have all our tools over there. We have our red swing line stapler, that's very important. Uh, glue gun, sonic screwdriver, uh, four empty cans of fucking V8 fusion, or, sorry, V8 plus energy, whatever the, whatever it is. Tape measure, fiddle, fiddling toy, glasses that I don't need, um, and Google Home that's not plugged in. So, yeah, we have everything we need right here. Um, and, uh, it does include wires as well. Oh, can't forget, wire strippers. And then if you look real closely, you can see the screen that I'm looking at right there. Oh, and of course a microscope that doesn't work. I mean, it works, just not when recording or streaming. Uh, so yeah. Why don't I have the VTuber model on? Because four camera, or, why did I say four? Uh, two cameras is a lot. I mean, I, and, uh... Linux is not great with webcams. I'm going to be completely honest. It is actually terrible when it comes to webcamage. And I have four separate camera devices that I've plugged into this computer before. Five if you count a broken piece of shit, but we're not going to count it because it's a broken piece of shit. This, the camera that's being, that's recording right now, my ice cam, which is the camera that I use for um, uh, VTubing, and then my video capture device, which counts as a webcam because it's it's a webcam device. Uh, in the background, you may hear a dog barking. That is because the, the, there is a dog barking. Probably found another goddamn possum. <clears throat> so uh, I also want to apologize for the audio. It could either be worse or better. Who knows? Um, I had to actually take my microphone out of its uh, armature and hang it is literally dangling in front of me right now as we speak, and it could disconnect at any minute and completely ruin this recording. So, uh, we should probably get on with it. And, uh, one more thing. Um, I also apologize for any wiggle that may be happening in the video, uh, video footage, because that is a webcam just also dangling. Well, not really dangling, but it's strapped to my light source. And that's also why there's a lot of exposure, so nothing's going to be perfect. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered. Here's the giant Darth Vader decal vinyl. If you can read that, it's probably too blown out. I'm not going to show the whole thing. It is massive. It is a huge 
I mean, if you don't know what I mean by vinyl, it is essentially a giant, a giant sticker. It's a giant sticker. It's like life-size Darth Vader. I mean, it's not really life-size, but <laughs> it's half scale. <laughs> uh, it's it's a giant sticker, and um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll put it on my door, but I don't really think I want to put it on my door. I think I'd actually rather frame it because a sticker is only worth its value if it can still stick. Anyway. Let's finally get on with it before my microphone falls off with issue one. And hopefully I'm going to be able to find all the parts. I doubt it. So we're going to go over four issues, which is going to have four assembly instructions here. Um, okay. Um, I think I'd rather do a scan of these later. So I'm just going to put these off to the side. We're actually in my lap. And we are going to start off. So we need, let's go over our component checklist. We uh, need the primary photoreceptor plate, the right shoulder plate, and it's all right here. All right here. Oh, you may be asking, uh, why do I have this pink mat and this pink... Why is everything pink? Um, dollar store I went to does not have any other color for hot glue gun accessories other than pink. So everything's pink. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Freaking no one can see what I'm doing. I think that's a little bit better. Is that better? I think that's better. Okay. So I haven't opened these yet, so this is going to be a little bit... It's one of those moments where it's like an unboxing video, except you don't want to unbox it. Let's look at the packaging first. Uh, <laughs> United Kingdom, then United States, then Deutschland, Italy, Spain, Greece, Norway, Finland, Sweden, Czech Republic, Poland, and Hungary. No Slovakia. Oh, poor Slovakia. You don't get to have R2-D2. I would doubt that Slovakians even know what R2-D2 is. And yes, I'm insulting the one Slovakian in my audience. You're welcome. So let's see if we can get into this with these blunt, thin scissors. Of all the tools I chose, I chose the blunt, thin scissors. Ah, oh, I just ruined this almost pure packaging. Oh well. Noticing a lot of Disney shoehorning in this. Like, Disney has their labels slapped all over this. All over it. Oh, forgot to even show off the the actual backing card here. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the blueprint style. That looks like the rocket from TF2. And that's Disney, and we don't like those guys. Except for the classic. But we don't like them now. Because they've screwed everyone. Alright. <laughs> so, uh... I'm gonna drop that. I really wish there was a digital version of all these. In fact, I, there probably is. There probably is a digital version of this. All right, so we are going to assemble the uh, state indicator. Um, if I remember correctly, the state indicator on an astromech droid is literally just a, an emotion light. Oh yeah, see, even says here, R2-D2's processor state indicate indicator light lights up blue and red according to what he's doing and his mood. In this first stage, start start fit it, start by fitting the LED cluster into the, its mounting. All right, that seems really really simple. I need, a, I need a better place to... Uh, there really isn't, so I'm just going to put it right on top of uh, OBS. Alright, so this is the mounting. This is the front plate. Oh! Oh, would you look... Listen to this. That's metal. That is actual metal. I aggravated by the fact that I cannot see myself tapping this piece of metal. That's metal. That is real metal. Let's see if it's... Is it aluminum? I think it's aluminum. That's aluminum. That's pretty damn good for uh, <coughs> 60 bucks. So, um... I'm really hoping this becomes worthwhile because this has been like 60 bucks every month worth of parts. I mean, this first one was like only 17 bucks, but you know, that's how they lull you in. Was it, is it worth it? Maybe. Let's find out. And this little, so this packet of cocaine screws and this, and I think that's all we'll need because the rest is just bits, just bits. All right, let's get organized. We don't need these scissors anymore. Pliers, screwdriver, bits. Okay. But Jordan, why do you only have one glove on? Because, um, character. I'm staying in character as my VTuber will be as soon as I make it. All right, so it's pretty simple. Just drop this. All right, so which screws are we looking at? We are looking at the three black screws here. So right here, we have three black screws. Let's try not to lose them up my ass. If I lose them, they're gone. I have no replacement. Well, I might have replacements, but 
they're not going to be as good as this. Let's see if this is magnetic. Oh my god, they spared no expense. They spared no expense on this. A magnetic screwdriver. Even my actual screwdriver is not magnetic. But this one is. This will be useful for future projects. The screwdriver, that is. Thank you, uh, Diagostini, for including an actually magnetic screwdriver in this kit. Because I can think of a bunch of people that do not include magnetic screwdrivers in their kits. This fucking wire strip is in my way. It's pissing me off. All right, let's go ahead and screw this in. Check on the recording while I screw. Yep, I am still recording. Make sure I didn't start streaming because that would be probably not great. All right, let's go ahead and screw in one more thingamajig. So today I set up three Minecraft ser no two Minecraft servers. I don't know why I keep jumping the three to a larger number right now. I don't know why. But I started three Minecraft servers. They are all, you know, um, private ones. But they're still uh, up for anyone. If anyone wants to join in. They just, all they gotta do is let me know, please. All right, uh, how does this go on? What? Oh, they don't go on yet. Oh, do they? Now, there's no way th this will attach to this, but according to the instructions, this goes on like this, and this goes on like... That's nice, you just have it all loosey-goosey like that. You'd expect there to be, like, some kind of... <gasps> Look, premium twist tie. You can't see it because it won't focus, but it doesn't really matter. This, is... this camera doesn't really have a focus, does it? This was a very cheap camera. I got it because I thought it would be better at face tracking, but in actuality, it can't even can't even see itself. It goes this way, and we will just snap that into place. There we go. This is like the opposite of Big Clive. Instead of disassembling things, we're assembling things. Okay, so somewhere in here, we will have also been included a um, component. This is our uh, testing kit here. Battery pack. Battery pack. Okay. Hold on. Another uh, little part of the other part of the kit, which... Oh! You know, I feel like I could just easily assemble this myself. I'm rather certain that I may or may not really need instructions. I mean, how hard is it to build R2-D2? He says, insulting everyone in the R2-D2's Builders Club. <laughs> Great club, by the way. Does this mean I get to join because I'm doing this? Um, I can't tell if that's actually a piece of R2-D2 or not. Or if this is just a plastic. I'm guessing it's a plastic. That's definitely a plastic. We're not going to peel that off till we actually get it into the assembly. Let's get our components here. We're going to test the uh, little, little LED bit. So this plugs into there, I think. And this plugs into the battery. There's no batteries in here, but I will put some. And they're double A. Some double A's. I don't know if they're worth any double A's. By worth anything, I mean if they have any juice in them. Might have just enough juice to... You, can't, you probably can't see that, but this... This does not look like a good battery, but am I willing to risk it out of laziness? Yes, I am. I risked, and I lost. Damn. Okay, I'm guessing I'm going to need to get another set of batteries. Thanks a lot, AC Delco, you pieces of shit. I'm kidding. You you guys are okay-ish. All right, well, there's only one other place to get batteries from. <clears throat> and it's from my other R2-D2, because <laughs> I just charged up some batteries and inserted them into the... Uh, battery pack here. You can't see off screen, but I am unscrewing the panel here, each panel up front. So this is the uh, Hasbro Interactive R2-D2 from, shit, 2005 maybe? Uh, this is my current uh, dream R2-D2, or this was my current, I mean, how, how am I going to phrase this? This was my dream R2-D2 when I was five, <laughs> and I kicked and screamed for it, and uh, it was worth it, but then... Uh, then the new Hasbro one came out, and then that was the one I wanted. But, um, alas, I never had that one. Probably because I didn't kick and scream for it like a Karen. But then, Diagostini said, hey, we're gonna make one, and, uh, you know, come and get it. So I said, sure. Only $14 a month? Oh, I'll take that. It wasn't $14 a month. It's $60 a month. They said, oh, yeah, you get it. It's $14 for every part in magazine. Oh, cool. They send you four parts a month, though, so it's, like, sometimes sums up to $60. Sometimes they send five. Sometimes they send two. I mean, the first time they sent two, that's why it was so cheap the first time, and that's why I thought it was only $14 a month. They did not make any sense on that, but what are you going to do? It's too late now. I'm too in deep. I'm too, I'm too far in deep. I'm too deep into this project. I've spent too much money now. 
There's no stopping me from there, unless I go absolutely positively, absolutely positively broke. Which, that, that won't happen. <laughs> negative bank account balance. Who, who said anything about a negative bank account balance? I just dropped my screwdriver. I think that'll be fine. One screw is enough to hold on the panel. Don't worry, the screws are flanged. They won't come off. All right, let's see if uh, this will work with a triplicate of... Oh, dear. Oh, fucking duh. I didn't turn the fucking thing on. Ah. <laughs> God. He has literally a... Uh... I really hope it just does more than just that. Because R2's in the movie does, like, slide back and forth. Okay, you can have both running at the same time. Ah, okay. Good. That's probably how it's going to look on the thing. I imagine it has a an analog tuner, because, mm, maybe not. Unless it's uh, completely analog uh, straight from the thing. That's fun. I could play with that all day, and I might. Let's go on to the next part. I'm just going to barrel on through, because I can tell what goes where. Clearly, this little lens cap here goes onto his eyeball. It is not a permanent fit, so probably that... That explains that why it's not staying. So we're just going to fasten this bit there. Is that correct? I think so. And then this will be the lens cover. Pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. <clears throat> um, I should probably get a bunch of Ziplocs and just throw everything into them. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll be right back. Shh. Don't tell anyone, but I stole a whole fucking box of Ziplocs. All right. So we are going to now just stick everything electronic-y in here. Switch that off. So, this will be the eye sets, I guess. We'll do it by uh, body part. So, this is the face bag. It's made of faces. Robot faces. I probably shouldn't leave those batteries in there, but eat ass. Alright, let's see what's next now. Let's move on to issue two. This will be, I believe, one of the legs. Or as they call it in the Star Wars un universe, an ambulatory strut. Ah, I see. Okay, we're gonna need uh, little bits and bobs of greeblies that don't actually do anything. Oh my god, are these metal too? Ah, here it is. It's a, it's a box of greeblies. Same packaging, same everything. Deathly afraid to find out how fucking big the uh, the body can, the body bags are gonna be. Body bags, you can say that. The uh, box that's gonna ship with all the body, uh, the torso parts. Can't even call it torso because it's a robot. R2-D2, does R2-D2 have a torso? It's a, more of a more of a can. So, we'll go one piece at a time. Oh my god, it is metal. You heard that, right? It went ka-chunk, metal. All die-cast metal. Holy shit, that is, wow. That is pretty epic. Okay, let's do the other shoulder bar. And, ah, shit. How am I doing this? Do I really need to consult the instructions? Is this the wrong leg? <laughs> so this is the leg with... Is this the correct... No. This is the correct leg. What? Okay. No screws came with this, so I'm assuming that I'm using the screws that came with the last set. Open this up and hopefully not lose them all. Come on. Oh, there they go. There they go. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right, calm down. Now we're going to screw together. To be doing this in the camera's view instead of off the side. I am so sorry about that. To learn to be comfortable with uh, having everything front and center, even though everything in front and center is going to be blown out uh, by the exposure anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Hopefully I'll be able to adjust this in DaVinci Resolve, but my uh, thoughts are nil on that. All right, all right, we put the little uh, little round greeblies in, okay, and we also attach these two together. A miniature moisture evaporator, yeah. So I imagine this probably screws on uh, here. Yeah, that looks about right. Now it kind of looks like a tire pressure gauge. There we go. All right, let's get these little doodads in. So are these just the same thing? Yeah, they're there's a pair of the same greebly. I love me some good greeblies. I really do. Which way is this? Up, so it kind of looks like a little... Okay. Always have a glove on one hand. It's, uh, that's how the engineer in TF2 does it. And it's not because he has a robot hand, it's because, in case you are working with some volatile material, such as a hot glue gun, or a, uh, a soldering iron, or a soldering gun, or anything that will fucking destroy your hand, it's good to have one hand that won't get destroyed. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Because I think we can all agree that hands are great, and it would be nice to not lose them all. 
Okay, I'm starting to see why they made these out of aluminum instead of uh, ferrous material. Because this would be a pain in the ass to uh, try and move around. Okay. Okay. I know uh, the camera resolution isn't great. I wish I could upscale it and zoom in. Because zooming in without upscaling is going to completely ruin this uh, footage. Because you, you can't freaking see that. Um, note to self, lower camera next time. We'll see if that makes a difference. Okay, uh, so there's this little bit. I'm assuming this connects on the inside of this. Probably more graceful than that. A lot more. Or does it go the other way? See, now I'm not sure. Let me wait till that actually construction. Throw that across. Okay, uh, ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I do just fit it onto the front. Using super glue. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna make such a huge fucking mess with glue. Oh god. Uh, at least I have super glue. That's a plus. All right, so it's pretty simple. We add this on to here. We glue that on, and then we add this onto here. Glue that on, and then we add this onto here. Glue that on. I could pr probably solder this to get. No, 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 no. I'm gonna ruin this project if I use any bit of solder. I just know it. I just know I will. But super glue ain't, ain't much better, so. Uh, I don't have it. Uh, well, I do, but it's in the other room, so uh, I'll, I'll probably have to get the accelerator expired because they seem to expire a lot faster than they're supposed to. So I'm gonna pull out my my craggle from hit movie uh, Lego movie. I'm going to kill myself by stabbing myself with this tiny little puncture tube puncture, and now we're gonna get started. So let's start by that. I'm going to actually try shoving shoving it on. Just dab the glue in. See, it would be nice if it had included some craggle, but no, they would never include craggle. Including the craggle would be too expensive, despite the fact that I paid, you know, 60 bucks for one shipment. Maybe it's because of international uh, shipping, because this did come from Italy, after all, for, with all the uh, all the Romans and the, the, the pizzas and stuff like that. You know, you get the idea. That cured pretty fast. Maybe I, Maybe I won't need the accelerator. Polyacrylate. Polyacrylate. That is what we call super glue in Science Town. And you know what? I'm not afraid to leave that on that mat because it's silicone. Let's see. Does it actually say polyacrylate? Hmm. Cyanoacrylate. I'm sorry. Not polyacrylate. Cyanoacrylate. Which means, yes, you could probably chemically produce cyanide with uh, this as a base. Of course, it's mostly acrylate. And of course, that is. A acrylic, you know? All right, everything's looking pretty good. Maybe I might need a little bit more craggle bottom here. I just don't want to get it all globby. Because if I make it globby, it's not going to look right. People are going to look at my R2-D2 and be like, Oh, is that super glue? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of super glue. Judge my R2 super glue job. <laughs> all right, now that we've gotten that, I think we are pretty much good with this little doodad here, whatever it is, uh, hydraulic strut, despite the fact that it doesn't do anything hydraulic related. It's dry. We're going to screw it on to here. So I'm going to pause until it's done. All right. Well, um, part three is literally just putting the uh, this blue piece on and assembling the photoreceptor, which we already did. So we're pretty much good on that. Oh, crap. The glue is not setting very fast on this. Uh, I'm going to go get the accelerator. That is literally the last time I leave the accelerator in another room. Ah, smell that. It smells like some sort of gasoline. Oh, look at that. Left a little puddle. All right, is our thing secured now? It is. Finally. All right, let's pull this back out and then press it to place. We'll just screw it together. This is not fastened. I don't even know how many legs I have uh, available to me. I assume I have both of them by now. I could be wrong, though. Actually, I don't think I do, because I imagine most of this is actually going to be head because, uh, there's, I think there's even a display stand in there to just put, place the head on, which is really funny. There we go. They fastened, and my biggest worry is that I'm going to end up just ruin that silicone. <laughs> no way. My biggest worry is that this is going to end up being, uh, falling apart by the time it's been assimilated into the mess, as I call my room. But it'll be totally worth it. And now for the finishing finishing touch as of as of uh, uh, the third issue, this thing. And there we have uh, half of an ambulatory strut, I guess. I'm noticing that there is a little bit of discrepancy here. 
That's my sloppy work. Damn, I'm gonna remember that forever. All right, next issue. So we've already completed one through three. Now let's go on to four. Ah, it is another piece of the uh, the ambulatory strut. This comes with a leg piece and the battery pack. So we already did the testing with the battery packs. We need the leg ankle piece, which does not look like it has a rotational joint, which means that this thing cannot retract it. Here we are. <sighs> That's a little disappointing, but that's to be expected because we have seen a real or the uh, previous versions not having anything. Oh, by the way, this just came in a bag. Other, unlike the other bits, it came in a bag. So not really that exciting of packaging. I'm assuming that they ran are running out of budget, <laughs> which is a shame because if this if they go bottom up before I can get my entire astromech i'm gonna be really upset so we need to fasten this in somehow lp lpr 32 i don't know if you can read that but that's what that says i'm assuming that's because this is a casting of a regular um camera part so this fastens in here somehow i'm not sure does it go the other way oh wait a minute it's the other way i'm stupid there we go i think that's how it is let me check the instructions one more time <sighs> look at what's on the box and make it yep I think that is much how I have it. Oh, no, wait, it's the other way. It's the other way. I'm sorry. We have to turn it till it's this way. Then you can see that there is a lock in here. Oh, my God, there's a baby ladybug. I'm going to let it be there. You're my new mascot. You're a baby ladybug. Yes, I can tell it's a baby because it has a hatched pattern on its back rather than a polka dot pattern. You can't see that. And if I had the microscope working, I would totally show you that. But that is... True fact of a baby ladybug. Look at it. Look at it crawling around there. You can't you can't even see the fine details, but I can. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hi baby. A ladybug is good luck. What's a baby ladybug? Hmm? Alright. This did not come with screws, by the way. I really hope it doesn't need screws. Nope, it did not come with screws. Okay. We just snap it on. Where the baby lady? Oh um focus. Nope. Quick clothing change. Oh quick clothing change. Okay, well. I think that's going to have to wrap us up here. I don't know where that baby uh, ladybug went. It just walked away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll uh, end that here because that was four issues and I pretty much finished what I need to do. So till next time, yada, 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 may the force be with you, etc. and all that.